Hello, Dr. B here. I've had a viewer asking me about body armor. It seemed like a dumb question. They ask, in a pinch, would a toilet seat be good body armor? So we're going to put it to the test here. <clears throat> we're going to try both a 9mm and a 44 Magnum. I'm, I assume that the viewer means to loop the lid around your neck and let the top hang down to protect your body. So, sounds like a horrible idea, but we're going to test it out because it was requested. We're going to head over to the range and give it a try. I assume that you would put on the body armor if you really needed it quickly, just like so. I can't believe I'm displaying this. So, we're just going to give this a few shots, test it out. Please make sure you hit where you're aiming back there. Okay, first shot on the body armor toilet seat, Glock 19 9mm. Okay, let's take a look. Would a toilet seat be good for body armor? Uh, that's not looking too good. I can see right through it there. Yep, okay. In a bind, don't even bother um, using the toilet seat. Horrible idea. Okay, the 9mm did a mean job on that body armor. Would not use it. But as promised, we're going to give it a shot with the 44 Magnum. This is a Ruger Red Hawk. First shot's going to be 44 Special. Second shot will be 44 Magnum. Let's give it a try. That was special. That took off a part of the back. Here comes the Magnum. Hit very close. So let's go down and check that out. I'm pretty sure that went through as well. Okay, we're going to check out what the 44 Magnum did here. The special seemed to blow off a piece of the lid. Yeah, I see daylight. The lid went way over there. Oh well. I'm thinking don't use this for body armor. Toilet seat, horrible idea. Well, here's the conclusion of the test. Do not use a toilet seat for body armor. Now you know. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you next time. Have a good day.